Good evening students. I am Dr. Sandeep Gag. Today I am here to discuss the Python concepts as per the CBSC curriculum and it is the most important lecture for CBSC final examination point of view for 10th graders. Let's start. In this chapter we will cover some important key points also. Now start. Basically first point, Python was created by which? It was created by Guido Van Rossum in 1985 to 1990 and first it appeared in market in 20th Feb 1991. And how the language named as Python? The language name was finalized from comic book hero that was the famous hero Monty Python on the particular person name, the language name appeared Python. And the Python interface that is currently used in the market that is IDLE 3.7.2 that is the version. And print function can be used direct or with separation of items also. It means print function can be used by multiple methods. And print uh, Python program is always written in new window. And the shortcut to open the new window is Ctrl plus N. It means firstly you need to open the idle tool. Afterward when you press Ctrl plus N, your new window will be open. Now more thing. Python supports how many type of data type? It supports three type of data type, integer, float and string. For integer class, we can write int. For float class, we can write float. And for string class, we can write str. Integer can accept value with without any decimal places like 45, 68, 89. Direct decimal value is accepted by the integer. Float value can be accepted with decimal place. It means value will be numeric, but it will be with decimal places like 18.56, 65.14. And string can accept alphabetical values like A, B, C. Every time string value can be written in single quote or double quotes while integer and float value need not to write in single or double quotes. Let's try. Suppose I have written the statement a equal to integer input enter a, b equal to integer input enter b and print a plus b. Now see if value of a is 10 and value of b is 10 the result will be 30 because both are integer value and integer plus integer it means numeric plus numeric will give the result numeric so result will be 30 if a equal to 10.75 and b is equal to 25.65 if we are giving the result will create an error because the value given in program is integer but we are giving the float value that's why it will create an error in a program third case if we are writing a is equal to awesome and b is equal to florence it will also generate the result as a error because input type is integer but we are giving string values that's why it will also generate the result error second case suppose we are taking a equal to float input enter a a b is equal to float input enter b and we will implement the same thing here suppose we are giving a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 so result will be 30.0 why is it because decimal value can be written in float value also float value can be written in decimal value also but the uh, string value can't be written in the float value because data type is float so float can accept decimal also and float also that's why it is accepting 10 and 20 and the result is it is giving in decimal places like 30.0 second case if you are giving decimal places value the result will be decimal also so result will be 36.4 and third case if we are giving string value in that case what will be happen the value will not be accepted because both are alphabetic value and it will create an error third case if we are writing in a program str str it means it can accept string values suppose we are giving here a10 b20 it will not do the addition of a plus b what it will do because values are in string form and the plus is used as a concatenated operator so result will be 10 20 not 30 
same thing if we are giving a equal to 10.75 b equal to 25.65 so the result will be 10.75 25.65 it will combine both values it will not add the values third case if we are writing a equal to awesome and b equal to florence so the result will be awesome florence it will combine both values this is the best practice for your data types if you are taking integer value it can give result in integer only if you are taking float value it can give result in integer also it can give result in float also if you are taking string value it will give result in string format and string will combine the result it will not add the result now use of plus operator plus operator can be used by two method firstly it can be used as a addition operator second it can be used as a concatenation operator uh, let's try now in first program integer input enter a input enter b suppose i am writing print a plus b what will be the result if a equal to 10 b equal to 20 so here a plus will be used as a addition operator and the result will be 30 so plus is used as an arithmetical operator second case if we are writing str str in that case what will happen if we are giving value a 10 and b 20 because data type is string so plus will work as a concatenation operator the result will be 10 20 so plus can be used by two method like a arithmetical operator or like a concatenation operator now other concept use of type function basically type function is used to check the type of data which type of data we are going to enter suppose we are writing here a equal to 25 and we want to check the type of data we can write type a so it will give the result class in it means the given value that is a its data type is integer and it belongs to the integer class so result will be class int when we will implement the program in idle 2. Second case, if we are giving a equal to 25.75 and we are going to try uh, to check the data type, so it will give the result class float. And third case, if we are giving a equal to awesome and we, we are doing to check the type, it will give the result class string. It means it is integer type, float type and string type. Integer type decimal value, float type decimal plus fractional value and string type is the alphabetical value if we are writing here in single quote one two three that will also be treated as a string so result will be same class string if we are writing one two three without single quote it means it is a numeric value now come to the conditional part how to check the conditions conditions are checked with the help of statements and statements for checking the condition is if else if if else if else we will try two three programs here first program suppose we are making a program to calculate the area of circle for calculating the area of circle the formula is pi r square so firstly we are giving value pi equal to float because the value of pi is in decimal places points only so we are taking data type float input enter the value of pi now whatsoever value we are going to input we are uh, writing here condition if pi equal to 3.14 it means if we are going to enter 3.14 value of pi then if block will be access all three statement will be processed so it will go to the next statement and it will ask the value for r again you will give the value of r it will calculate the area what is written now area equal to pi star means multiply r star star means square it means it is written pi r square and afterward calculation it will print the value of area else if it means when value of pi is not 3.14 in that case it will send the message sorry the value of pi not spotted it means if the same program will be in your board exam or in your pre-board exams what will you do you will read the statement very carefully and you will take the input from your side and you will implement the both cases first case you will take when value of pi is not 3.14 here we have implemented the program see the result now enter the value of y first we have given 3.25 
so it has given the result sorry the value of pi not spotted now we will take the second case enter the value of pi we have taken 3.14 if the value of pi 3.14 it will ask for enter the radius and we have entered 5 and after that the area printed by the print function is 78.5 so all students keep in mind if this type of program come in your exams you will take both the cases when condition is true and when condition is false and you will print both the result if inputs are not given by the examiner if inputs are given you will write the result accordingly if inputs are not given you will implement both the cases and write the both result for condition true and false let's take uh, second example now this problem is related to the factorial of any number n equal to integer input it means we are giving input value because factorial can be calculated of integer value decimal value only and it cannot be negative value by default factorial is 1 less than 1 factorial could not be either value is 0 either value is 1 now suppose we are giving the value of n less than 0 it means it is not possible to calculate the factorial so it will print the statement sorry negative value is invalid second case elif in elif what is given if n equal to 0 or n equal to 1 it means if the value of n is 0 or 1 for both values the factorial is 1 so it will print the statement the factorial is 1 and third case this is the else case in else case we are going to calculate the factorial for calculating the factorial because we will repeat the operation again and again we will use the loop in that we have used the 4 and 4 is loop i is a variable and range is a function and range function will accept the value from 1 to n because it will accept the value less than n plus 1 that is n so what it will do suppose we are giving here value of n equal to 6 so first condition not satisfied second condition not satisfied it will directly go to the third condition and it will give the result fact is equal to fact star i firstly it will take the value of i 1 and fact is 1 so 1 star 1 value is 1 next time 1 star 2 value is 2 next time 2 star 3 value is 6 next time 3 star uh, 6 star 4 value is 24 next time 24 star 5 value is 120 and next time 120 star 6 and the final value is 720 third example it is related to the calculation of total marks percentage of students and grades basic program it is firstly we will give the input of marks after that we will calculate the total marks total equal to s1 plus s2 plus s3 percentage is equal to total divided by 3 print total marks total it will print the total marks afterward percentage it will calculate afterwards first condition if percentage less than 40 so print result will be poor performance and fail if percentage greater than equal to 40 and less than 60 it will print the result average and third vision third case percentage greater than 60 and percentage less than 70 it will print the value good and second division next case percentage greater than 70 and percentage less than 80 it will print very good and first position and last case is excellent and merit case as per the program we have given the input 95 84 and 79 so total marks are 258 percentage is 86 and result is merit excellent and merit case i hope you like this video in next session of python we will discuss more important concept for your cbsc final examination and for your pre-board exams so listen this lecture again and again and listen the next lecture also and i'll upload important key points related to marketing and sales also so very carefully listen all the concept it will be definitely beneficial for your pre-board and final exams so for this section for this session we are covering till conditional part in next session we will cover white spaces comments list loop example of loop type casting and running for our loop operators types of operators comparison operators assignment operator all types so listen the next lesson very carefully lecture is very important and it will definitely benefit to you 
thank you thank you have a nice day for this session and i'll upload again marketing video also thank you